Welcome to the NCRP Portfolio Capstone Course for Fall 1, 2015. I want to commend you on your long journey through many courses to get this far. Throughout this process, you have become experts in the theories, best practices, research, and processes of NCRP. You will soon have an NMA degree in hand and the knowledge to transform the world. To give you a bit of history about the NCRP capstone class, our program initially started as a master's degree in behavioral science with an emphasis in negotiation and conflict management in 1989. When I entered the program in 1993, the program focused more on behavioral research methods and less on negotiation and conflict management. Our capstone projects were completed by a group. The project involved a literature review, focus groups, phone interviews, surveys, and observations of people learning with a two-way interactive video system. In the late 1990s, the online program changed its capstone from a project to a comprehensive exam. Over the few years we did the comp exam, many students provided feedback that they wanted to have something more individualized and meaningful than a comprehensive exam. It was also difficult to provide academic freedom for our diverse group of adjunct faculty and have them focus their lectures towards the content of the comprehensive exam. In 2006, uh, Marco Turk asked me to work with him in developing and teaching a capstone course with a portfolio. We have tested this process and received feedback throughout the years to make this portfolio process a meaningful capstone for all students. The syllabus and portfolio guide contain everything you need to create your portfolio. All of my lectures follow the instructions in the portfolio guide. Grading rubrics are provided for each chapter of the portfolio. You must meet the grading rubric criteria to receive full credit for the portfolio. This shall be a standalone culminating experience involving an extensive written program review of the highlights you learned in each of the required courses, plus at least one elective course representing your particular interest in the field. Second, an extensive written presentation of a detailed question addressing an important issue in the field arising from your study in the program. Third, an extensive written review of the literature in the field dealing with that question. Fourth, an extensive written discussion concerning how the literature in the field provides a satisfactory solution to the question and the importance of the results to the field. And fifth, a thoughtful extensive written outline of a future program detailing how you might continue to develop and apply all of this through your work in the field. You need to have the publication manual of the American Psychological Association easily accessible. The Handbook of Conflict Resolution is available digitally through eBrary on the CSUDH Library website. I have assigned weekly readings and expect to see you cite the handbook in your literature review and satisfactory solution. I will be asking several questions from the Handbook of Conflict Resolution during your oral defense. All of the due dates from July 12th, 2015 until August 16th, 2015 are for you to submit sections for my feedback. 
This is to let you know you are on the correct track and what you need to improve on. I will mostly look at the content and organization of your program reviews and literature review. I will be checking your citations by searching for them in your reference section, running a variety of electronic grammar checkers, and using rubrics to determine the quality of your work. Do not submit first drafts of material that need line-by-line -line editing. I will reject any submission that does not have sound grammar, usage, and mechanics of standard American English. The final portfolio must be submitted before August 30th, 2015 at midnight. Please let me know if you can't meet the final deadline. The majority of the course time will be spent actively participating in peer editing groups. I will provide only a few lectures. The instructions are in the portfolio guide. I have previously recorded the guide in lectures and students have let me know that they would rather just read it for themselves. I have provided a portfolio guide uh, containing rubrics for each section of the portfolio and a checklist of what I will be looking for in the final portfolio. You should compare your portfolio sections with the rubrics. The participation schedules suggest dates for groups to be reviewing portfolio sections. From my experience, students who com successfully complete the portfolio write and revise every day, follow a timeline, and constantly give and receive peer feedback. Each student needs to write or revise two to three pages per day and proofread about five pages a day to get through this process. In the 15 years I have taught the course, approximately 80% have completed their capstone on time. The 20% who don't complete the process are the students who procrastinate, don't participate in the peer review process, and then submit mediocre work at the end of the term. This is not an independent studies course, and every student is expected to participate in the peer review process. I will be observing the interactions and feedback in the groups as a guide on the side, and I will rarely intervene. It is the group's responsibility to motivate every member to follow the timeline and provide positive and meaningful feedback. Once again, welcome to NCR 591, and I look forward to watching the evolution of your portfolio and reading your introductions on the discussion board.